In this example, uh, we're going to solve a couple of um, exponential equations. Um, so this first equation, um, we have uh, 10 uh, to the power of 3x plus 4 is equal to 7. So um, this is called an exponential equation uh, because the um, unknown x uh, is in the exponent of a power uh, in this uh, equation. So our first uh, goal here in solving uh, this equation in example A is to uh, uh, get that unknown x out of the uh, exponent of this power uh, so that we can um, solve for x. And the way we're going to do this is by applying uh, a particular log function to both sides of this equation. Uh, since uh, the uh, power uh, on the left-hand side of the equation has base 10, uh, we're going to apply um, log base 10 or common log uh, to both sides of this um, equation. So let me do that. Uh, we have log of uh, 10 to the 3x plus 4 power uh, is equal to uh, log of 7. So remember, uh, common log uh, is log base 10, and we can write uh, that log without uh, a subscript. Now we're going to apply the um, exponent to coefficient property for logarithms. So we can take the uh, exponent of this uh, uh, power, and we can rewrite that as a coefficient um, to the log function. So we have um, 3x plus 4 uh, times uh, log of uh, 10. Uh, is equal to uh, log of 7. Well, log base 10, or common log of 10, uh, is 1, of course. So uh, we can simplify this, um, uh, the left-hand side of this equation as uh, 3x plus 4 times 1 is equal to log of 7. And, of course, uh, that's just going to be the same as uh, 3x plus 4 equal to uh, the log of 7. And now we can just use um, arithmetic, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division to isolate uh, the unknown x on uh, one side of this equation. In this case, we're going to isolate it on the left-hand side of uh, the equation. So the rest of this is just um, elementary algebra in solving uh, this equation for x. Uh, so first, we subtract 4 from both sides of the equation. So uh, we have uh, 3x is equal to uh, minus 4 plus uh, log of 7. I'm going to write that as minus 4 plus log of 7 rather than log of 7 minus 4 to avoid uh, some confusion. And then we just divide both sides of uh, this equation by 3. right? So we have x is equal to minus 4 plus uh, the log of 7 um, divided by 3. So there's the exact solution uh, to our original uh, exp uh, exponential equation. Now we can um, get a decimal approximation for this solution uh, by using um, a calculator uh, to uh, estimate um, the common log of 7. So let's do that here. <coughs> so I'm just using the Windows calculator in this case. So uh, we have 7, and now we're going to take the log of that, and that's... Um, approximately 0.85 if we round to um, um, one decimal place, uh, two decimal places, I mean. So I have that x is approximately equal to minus 4 plus uh, uh, 0.85 uh, divided by uh, 3. So, of course, this is going to be minus 3.15 uh, divided by 3. And that simplifies easily to minus 1.05. So here's a decimal approximation uh, for the solution to this uh, exponential equation. X is approximately minus 1.05. All right, now let's look at uh, example B here. And this is very similar. Again, we have an exponential equation because our unknown is in the exponent of a power uh, in this equation. And so... Um, Let's solve this for x. So I'm going to do this first by uh, uh, isolating uh, this exponential term on one side of the equation by itself. So I'm going to add 25 to both sides of the equation. So we have e to the 5x is equal to uh, 25. 
And now again, I need to get that uh, unknown x out of the exponent of this power. So I can do that by applying the appropriate log function to both sides of the equation. In this case, in this case since the uh, base of the power is e, uh, we're going to use log base e or common log. Remember, that's written as ln. I'm sorry, log base e or natural log, which is written as ln. And so I'm going to apply the natural log function to both sides of the um, equation. And now using the exponent to coefficient property, I can rewrite this exponent as a coefficient uh, in front of the log function. So I have 5x times the natural log of e is equal to the natural log of 25. And of course, natural log of e, that's log base e of e, that's going to be just 1. So we have 5 times, uh, 5x times 1 is equal to natural log of 25. And of course, that just simplifies to 5x is equal to the natural log of 25. And now it's very easy to finish solving the equation for x, just divide both sides of the equation by 5. So we have x is uh, the natural log of uh, 25. Not 5, but 25. Let me change that. So natural log of 25 divided by 5. And again, you can use uh, a calculator to get a decimal approximation for this exact solution uh, to this equation. So let's calculate the natural log of 25, which is about 3.21 or 3.22 if we were to round to two decimal places. <coughs> and now we want to divide that by 5. So let's divide by 5. And so here's a decimal approximation uh, for uh, the solution to this equation. It's about 0 0.64.